Well, the official completion of a project long in the works at three school systems in the area was celebrated today. The Solar Schools project at the Pine River Bacchus and Pequot Lake School Districts, as well as at Central Lakes College. And for this week's Golden Apple, Rachel Johnson takes us to the ribbon cutting for the major project. This was our turn to be courageous. This was our turn. Seven years ago, a group of individuals in Minnesota's Region 5 area had a dream to make solar accessible to students, no matter the location or demographic. Seven years ago or so, a Region 5, Cheryl Hills, who's the director of Region 5 and I, sat down to begin a conversation about how we could integrate solar into our public schools, how we could help our schools reduce their energy costs, their operating costs. This year, that dream became a reality, and after a long process, the Solar Schools program officially celebrated the completion of the project. It's a surreal day to be with all of these fabulous partners and have the solar arrays behind us because it's been such a long time coming. The Solar Schools program installed a total of six solar arrays in Pequot Lakes, Pine River Bacchus, and Central Lakes College. The team at Real. They put a lot of attention to detail into every little aspect of the installation and it's just, uh, I've seen a lot of projects through all the different states I've been to and the, and the states that I work in um, and this one really stuck out. It was made possible through a grant from XL Energy and a partnership between the Region 5 Development Commission, the Rural Renewable Energy Alliance, Sourcewell, and New Energy Equity. This project is a big, complex project with many partners, many sites. So there is nothing like it in the state. What we've known for a long time is in this region, there is a sense of coming together and collaborating and breaking down barriers, and this is an illustration of that. In addition to the cost savings the solar panels will bring to the school districts, the solar will be integrated into the curriculum and will offer a huge learning opportunity for the students. Today's youth are making tomorrow's energy choices, and so we're very excited that our local schools here in north central Minnesota have an opportunity to have these systems not only to save the school's money but as educational assets. The partnership and the hard work that made solar schools a reality shows that it is possible to have access to solar energy even in rural areas. Reporting from Pine River with this week's Golden Apple, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.